Let's be brutally frank. Let's talk about sex. Sex and young people, teenagers in particular. It's no secret they're doing it. But talk to them and you'll be horrified to hear how risky behaviour, like unsafe sex, is now just a part of their lives. And that's certainly reflected in the thing nobody wants to talk about. Sexually transmitted infections. Love bugs, as they're called. One in every eight Australians has such an infection, and the most common, chlamydia, has reached epidemic proportions amongst the young. Many don't know they have it, don't even know it exists, and the consequences can be very nasty indeed. Hey guys. It's a perfect afternoon at Sydney's Cronulla Beach. Do you know many people that are sexually active? Do you know if they're using protection at the moment? Yeah, some of my friends. Yeah. Perfect place for these youth workers with their questionnaires and curious giveaways of lollipops and condoms. Yeah, and then give you two condoms. Yes. So are you going out tonight? <laughs> with the condoms comes the conversation. Oh, yeah, just as common in guys as in boys and girls. Yeah. Just as dangerous. The unsexy subject of unprotected sex and all its consequences. Do your friends not use condoms or something? Everyone should. Exactly. As young adults themselves, Jenna, Patrick and Skye have the inside word on what young people are doing and thinking. Thanks heaps for filling out for us. Why sexually transmitted infections are on the rise. When you've got 18, 19 year olds talking to other 18, 19 year olds, it's a lot easier. It's comfortable, like they feel that they can talk to us, ask questions that they wouldn't generally put their hands up in PE class and ask. What sort of questions do they ask? Ah, oh, there's, some, there's some good ones, like, do you have any bigger size condoms? <laughs> Sex with some people yeah. is addictive. Like, like, people love it. Like, it's awesome. Like, Get any group of young people together, and it might take a while, but most will admit sex can be so good, nothing else matters. You expect me to just let you hit it, but will you still respect me if you get it? Add alcohol or drugs to the passion, and protection is fast forgotten. I'd be the first to admit it. I'm curious about you. How good are you guys at wearing condoms? Sometimes, like, it's just the moment, and you're just in it, and then you're there, you're like, you got one, no, you got one, and then you go, like, you just leave it, then it's, oh, well, see you tomorrow, and hopefully you're all sweet. <laughs> it's mainly when I'm drunk or whatever, that I don't, you get carried away and then it's sort of at the end you go, oh, oh far out, I forgot to, um, but I always tr try to, it's the right thing to do. Having numerous sexual partners is becoming more of a social norm, so it's more accepted in society to do that and so people have more sex. Binge drinking is on the way up. Do you see a correlation? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, definitely. I also think kids are getting into worse drugs younger these days anyway. Mm. A lot worse than drinking. Yeah. They don't even know what they're doing, let alone use protection or something. We know that about half the time that people have sex, they're under the influence of drugs, principally alcohol. So most of them are drunk when they have sex, and that's the time that judgment goes out the window. Many of them are waking up with more than hangovers. Frank Bowden, professor of medicine at the Australian National University in Canberra, says the rise in the most common sexually transmitted infection, chlamydia, is now a major public health issue. Of all the diseases for young people in Australia today, chlamydia is the one that you're most likely to have. Why does chlamydia love young people? Because young people have sex. And last year we had 58,000 notifications of chlamydia. Now that's the number one notifiable disease in the country and that number's increased over a period of the last 10 years. And that's just those who've been diagnosed. More common than the flu, more contagious than HIV, chlamydia is one of those sneaky infections that in most cases has no symptoms. It can do its damage before you know you have it. It silently spreads from partner to partner, and if left untreated, can make men, but more often women, infertile. The bacteria attacking their reproductive organs. And there's only one time to fix it. There's only one way that you can make that not happen, and that's to educate young people about something that they're not particularly worried about at this moment. They're not particularly fussed about it because they don't know they've got it, there's no symptoms. 
15-year-old Taylor Chapman certainly didn't have symptoms. She didn't even know what chlamydia was until she was diagnosed with it. So why were you having unprotected sex? Because the guys say, like, it's a lot better without the condom. It doesn't feel the same with it on. So it's all about the bloke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you and your needs? You'd had the chat about the need for protected sex. Yeah, I just didn't really, like, didn't think, oh, I'm going to catch anything. Kind of, It's not going to happen to me. With the support of her mum, Laura, Taylor found the courage to tell her boyfriend, who was then also diagnosed with chlamydia. OK, now tell me about telling your partner. <laughs> it was scary. Well, what were you most worried about? Probably just um, people, like, saying, how'd you get it kind of thing, like... Cos when you talk about it, it's really only, like, dirty people, not... Like, people that sleep around that get it kind of thing. And then I was like, well, it's not. It can be anyone. I think people are starting to think they're infallible. They can't, th they can't catch these things. But everybody catches a cold, everybody catches a flu. Everybody can catch chlamydia. Doesn't matter how clean you are, washing doesn't help. <laughs> you know, it's, you could be the cleanest person. You could be, well, you could get it, sorry. <laughs> And so could you. <laughs> I know, that's right. But I mean, like, anybody, anybody at all could get it. Keeping quiet about chlamydia is helping it to spread. But as this group agrees, it's hard enough talking about sex, let alone admitting to your partner you have a highly contagious infection. And the stigma that's attached with it is huge. And it's something that you never hope you have to have the conversation. And do you think, would, nay, I'm asking you to be very honest here and it's difficult, but do you think you wouldn't tell? As horrible as it is, I might not. Especially if it was, this is going to sound so, oh my God. Especially if it was someone you just picked up the night before. Yeah. You'd yeah. be like, well, I don't really yeah. know them. Yeah. It's, God, this mm. does sound horrible. What's it to me? You know, that's horribly yeah. selfish, but it would, it, it's just yeah. to escape some awkward situation. Yeah, I'm not, cry. don't judge me. Out of sight, out of mind. The problem with chlamydia is, if left alone, it can ruin your chances of having kids. Naturally, not something many young people consider until it's too late. I think when you think about chlamydia and other STIs, I don't think you're really thinking about infertility down the track. I think you're thinking, oh, I might get like genital warts or something gross like that, which is going to affect my right. sex life right now. Yeah, she's right. You don't think, I don't want to be infertile, I should get a test. You think, oh, I hope I don't have an STI because if I give it to someone else, he's going to tell everybody. I guess when you look back at yourself this young, you're just setting out on life, really. Mm. I guess you weren't thinking about having kids one day. No, no. Before I was 10, yes, but in my teenage years, no. Too much life to live. <laughs> That's it. So, noticing the difference, the third dog pose. How now 36, Tara Eyre must face the possibility of never having children. As a yoga teacher, she has always been a picture of health, certainly on the outside. But on the inside, her fallopian tubes were being destroyed by chlamydia, by an infection Tara probably got in her teens, but didn't know she had until she tried to have a baby four years ago. Extend up through that left arm. When the doctor first told you that there were signs that you had chlamydia and that that could make you infertile. I don't think I believed it. But no, no, it wasn't going to happen. I was going to have a baby. I'm going to have a baby. A lot of the damage has already been done. What Tara now knows is just one infection of chlamydia can reduce fertility by 10% become reinfected, which is very easy to do without treatment, and you've cut your chances by 30 or 40 per cent. The destruction can be devastating. There's no reversal of this disease? Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, no. I think the problem is that you don't know you've got it. There's no symptoms. So if you're anything like me, when I was young, if I was indestructible, I was immortal, you know, I'm a, you're still a very childlike teenager and you can do anything and everything. And, and I wasn't sick up to that point. And so it was a huge shock to the system. Is there any way you can fall pregnant naturally? The doctor said no. For sexual health expert Frank Bowden, this is the tragedy of chlamydia. 
Each year, it's leaving thousands of couples childless, and it's going to get worse. Many of today's happy-go-lucky youngsters will be desperately lining up in IVF clinics in the next decade. So here's a disease which they've contracted at the age of 16. 10, 15 years later, when they may be trying to get pregnant, they find they can't, and it's been caused by scarring of the tubes from a disease that they've never heard of and they didn't know they had. The reproductive implications for young women at a population level are very, very serious. If you want kids, nowadays this is a reality that chlamydia is out there, it has no symptoms. You need to get checked regularly so that you don't fall into the same predicament as I have. And that's devastating. It is, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Luckily, chlamydia hasn't ruined Taylor's future. She now has one-year-old Benji, and it was only when Taylor discovered she was pregnant that a test revealed she also had chlamydia. It can be very dangerous for unborn children, damaging their eyes and lungs. Fortunately, Taylor was treated before Benji was affected. How do you think you'd feel if the chlamydia had damaged Benji? I'd be really hard on myself because I'd gone and not done anything about it and my child had to suffer for some stupid mistake that I did. <laughs> Thankfully, there is some good news on chlamydia. As these young students at ANU will learn tonight, of all the sexually transmitted infections, chlamydia is the easiest to detect and the simplest to treat. All it takes is a simple urine test. One antibiotic will clear it up. The hardest part is convincing people who have no warning signs to have regular checkups. How easy or difficult is the chlamydia test? So easy. Easy. It's one of the most easy tests there are for STIs. It's not even a blood test. Yeah. You can, it's pee in a cup, done in two seconds. Yeah. There's no harm done. There's really no excuse not to do it. Mm. Has anyone else here had the test? Yeah, I've had yep. the test. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Everyone. Mm -hmm. so if you've all had the test, does that mean you've all had unprotected sex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Change your mood. Herpes doesn't only affect one type of person. Much like the current herpes ad, there are plans for a chlamydia awareness campaign for later this year. Calls too for testing to be offered when you visit your GP and better sex education in schools. We've got um, a health pack which has like condoms and um, some lube in it and just heaps of information on um, sexual health. So, yeah. In the meantime, our Sutherland Shire youth workers are targeting those who need to hear the message most young people without a care in the world. And the thing with chlamydia is you might not actually be able to have kids if it goes on for too long. Now that's scary, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I honestly believe that I feel like I'm saving lives here. Um, not just lives, dreams as well. Like, at the end of the day, chlamydia can lead to you not having kids. So yeah, I, I feel like I'm saving lives and dreams. Yeah, truly. Hello, I'm Nick McKenzie. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. Don't miss out on our Extra Minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.